you got to have some kind of trust in your equipment. But on the other hand, it is man-made, so it'll quit. So if, if you're got any smarts at all, you're looking for somewhere to land all the time. You know, that you can successfully walk away from something, you know, and not just plow in the side of a damn hill and kill yourself. That's Bo Darden, a 68-year-old bush pilot in Dillingham, Alaska. Dart thinks about emergency runways when he flies, because he knows what it's like when you need one. He's been flying this to Havilland Otter in western Alaska for almost 30 years. Five times the engine has failed while Darden was in midair, and five times Darden has glided the plane down for an emergency landing. But not all flights end as happily as Darden's. On a flight from Dillingham to Togiak, a tiny village about 60 miles west of Dillingham, Darden points out the sites of various crashes. In 2002, a Catholic priest flying to celebrate Palm Sunday in Togiak crashed into those pretty green hills in blizzard conditions. Darden said the weather was so bad it took them three days to recover his body. A plane with three men crashed into this hillside, Darden said. They all died. The pilot was flying the otter the same as this one when he flew into some weather and tried, unsuccessfully, to climb out of it. And in 2001, a Cessna caravan taking off from Dillingham's runway with icy wings fell 700 feet, killing all 10 people aboard. But the most recent crash in the area was the August 9th crash that killed five people, including Ted Stevens, a former U.S. Senator who had as big a hand in Alaska's development as any man in the state's history. Darden wasn't in town the weekend before the crash. A friend of his had died in a small plane crash in Denali National Park, and Darden flew out for the funeral. He was back in town by Tuesday when he helped transfer the bodies of those that died August 9th from a helicopter that landed near the crash site to a C-130 plane that flew them back to Anchorage. Sometimes, the deaths feel eerily close. Once, about eight years ago, Darden was talking with a friend and fellow pilot on the Dillingham runway before the two men took off on flight jobs. Darden took off first on a 25-minute flight, but by the time he landed, his friend, who took off immediately after him, had already crashed into a lake and died. Fifteen minutes later, from the time we were standing there talking, you know, I helped him load, he was dead. But I didn't know that was going to happen, you know. We don't know that. That's what I was saying the other day about, hey, keep your life in order and know who your maker is because you might meet him unexpectedly.